Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to learn some beglary tricks. Uh, some of them, I think they kind of almost all build on each other. Um, usually in these videos I try to give you like three main elements. Um, and so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to do uh, cheddar, which I think I've shown before, uh, but it's kind of a closer. Um, but I don't think I've had an actual tutorial on it. Uh, and then the other one, I'm not sure if it actually has a name. Uh, I'm calling it ping pong. Uh, and so it's, it's going to be another uh, sort of element that we'll talk about. And then lastly, uh, maybe the showstopper. Uh, is butterfly. So I'm going to show you how to do a full butterfly. This is a fairly new trick that I'm not maybe an expert on yet, but I figured it out. And it's been one that has been requested over and over and over again. So let's go ahead and switch the camera and go around and I will show you each of those three. We're going to go ahead and start with cheddar, that closer. So let's go with that. All right, so here we are. I'm using the uh, round square. These are the uh, ice titans. Um, I like these ones a lot. They clack really nice. Uh, they started off really nice and, um, you know, glass-like, uh, but they've they've got some clacking along the way, and uh, you know they've they've kind of faded a little bit, uh, but they still look great. Uh, and it has the um, the core um, system then in there with uh, the titanium, and it's this one's like the the, the rainbow-ish one. So I really like that a lot. Um, and so I'm switching up for this tutorial with that. So the first one we're going to talk about is cheddar. Uh, like I said, it's a closer. Uh, this is basically what it looks like. Um, you're going to get it, going to just going to go up and close it just like that. And it's going to land sort of, uh, in the palm with both beads kind of together. If you've been around Begler long enough, you've seen this, um, probably maybe, I don't know, maybe even overused in my videos. Uh, but it's just a lot of fun. So it is definitely a, a fun closer uh, trick, um, but uh, there is some, uh, some trickiness to it. Uh, the main thing is that, and there's a couple different ways I'll show you sort of how you can kind of take the basic element and then we'll kind of add some flair to it. Uh, but what we're trying to do is we're creating, making sure that the cord uh, and both beads are kind of completely horizontal, they're parallel. So they're hitting they're you know, this is where they need to be. So when you slap, so what you're doing here is you're slapping with your, your, your four fingers here, right? And you can, uh, you know, that should be fine. As long as you're doing long game, right? Uh, if you're doing short game, good luck with this. Um, it's definitely going to be a challenge. You might be able to do like three fingers or two fingers maybe, but really the goal is to do all four so you can hit it in your palm. Um, so yeah, basically just to toss it up. So kind of get comfortable with this sort of toss. Um, and kind of like a catch and release sort of thing. So, so that way you know exactly where it's gonna go. So once we get to about right here, okay, that's whenever we're gonna go ahead and basically slap down. You don't wanna hit so hard uh, that it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's flying out of control. I kind of over-exaggerated that, like, it's, like if we're in like an infomercial, but you get the idea, okay? So here we are again. So the goal again is just to kind of get it to this point here and it's all about timing and I'm gonna go ahead and take my hand and I'm gonna slap right in the center. It has to be right in that center. Kind of um, think about like, you know, that, that's kind of your midpoint right here. So eyeball the center here. That's where you're gonna to wanna to hit, right there, right smack in the middle. So as it comes up, just kind of slap right there and they'll clack right in between there. And that's, that's a really cool way to catch those. So that's kind of the standard way um, you kind of just kind of toss it out and you're going to catch it just like that. Uh, get comfortable with that before you kind of move on to these other ones. Uh, another one you can do uh, from a, a low grip is you can kind of pass over here, let go of that bead here and you're back and you're in this sort of cradle here. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of do a 180 with it or you could do a one, you know, a, or a 360, but really we're just going to do a 180. We're here and we're going to do is we're going to do a 180. So as it comes around, it's going to spin around and it's going to be flat again. It's going to be parallel. And then we're going to do that same slap. So right here, right there. So now what I found helpful with this is to not really kind of throw it up too high, you know, and try to, you know, give a lot of space between your palm and, and the, the cord there. <laughs> So I kept that really nice and close. You see the idea there? Um, if you give a lot of space there, and I feel like it looks like it has a little bit more control as well uh, when you kind of land it like that, uh, instead of giving it a lot of space. It might be looking flashy, but 
uh, I feel like it has a little bit more control. Here's a couple different ways. So basically, like if you can kind of get the, uh, you know, the cord flat at all, um, just kind of see those moments, you can do a cheddar. But I like this closer here a lot. All right, and that's the that's the idea behind that. All right, so there you go, that's cheddar. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, and this one, again, I'm, I don't know if there's a name technically, but I am calling it um, ping pong. All right, so the idea here is, I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, the trick here, um, but it's, you're kind of bouncing it back and forth, just like so. And you can kind of do this as long as you want. Uh, now it does help maybe uh, when you're first learning this to have maybe a heavier bead, maybe even a larger bead. These are, you know, these are fairly decently heavy. They're not crazy heavy, but, uh, and the decent size and that plastic's a little bit tackier. Now here's, here's what it's doing. It's kind of get comfortable to where that rests kind of right there. Um, kind of in Kandama. So like it's a, it's a stall really, right? You know, like when you're learning stalls in Kandama, um, it's helpful to put the Tama where it's going to stall on the Ken, right? Uh, before you kind of go into the full like trick. Uh, that's kind of what I'm asking you to do here. Kind of rest that there uh, and then kind of get comfortable resting it here too and just kind of feel the weight of that and where you need to kind of hold your hand. Um, but, but essentially you're keeping your hand flat, your palm up uh, a little bit. Um, as you do that, you might, I don't know, you might find it helpful to kind of tip your hand back a little bit this way when the beads are this way and then maybe kind of tipping your hand a little bit more upwards on this side towards your pinky whenever it's on this side. And so to kind of get around, you know, to that mount, you can kind of just, you know, from anything really, but you want to, you can start into the back or start in the front, doesn't really matter. So you can even end it in cheddar like that um, from, from that ping pong sort of move. All right, so there you go. Again, I don't know if that has a name, maybe it does, but I'm calling it ping pong because I think that's what it does. It bounces back and forth. So that's a cool little, like it's just kind of a fairly simple element, but it, it's a cool way to break up maybe, you know, some of those rolls and some of those more traditional sort of beglary moves. Um, the last one is probably by far the most complicated one. One I've spent weeks and weeks on uh, and hours and hours on trying to get down. Uh, and it is butterfly. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is definitely one you're gonna find helpful to have in slow motion as well. So make sure if you're struggling with that and you're not quite seeing or understanding what I'm trying to explain, uh, I would definitely check that out. So, uh, here we go. Wow. All right, there's the idea. Uh, and actually, it can be a repeater. I have not actually gotten to there. This is a full butterfly as opposed to kind of them just kind of crossing once uh, you want it to cross at the top as well at the crest of uh, of the butterfly so that's a full wing situation okay uh, but the idea is to find that center point again uh, now i've seen you know players uh, people like muscle bone and others kind of get into this mount where a low grip you're springing here in the middle and bouncing off and kind of letting go. I have not gotten that muscle memory down yet. I'll have a, a video in the corner here to show you what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm still working on this trick, right? But I, I've at, been asked this trick so many times that I thought, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and break this down. Uh, so the idea here is to kind of, again, get the center point. I'm using um, a high grip here. Um, and that's just between my middle finger and my pointer finger. Now, the key here, when you grip, it's got to be in the center so that the butterfly, you know, the beads are equal distance apart. So the butterfly wings can actually be fully, you know, extended on both sides. Uh, but also it's really helpful to kind of have the cord at the very tips of your fingers. Um, the more it's towards the front of your fingers, the better, because those fingertips really will get in the way, especially on the descent. Uh, on the final move. So if you want to think of this in sort of like three parts in its fullest form, uh, it's going to be the cross here. Okay, so this bead is going to, they're going to cross this way. What you're going to basically do is you're going to do this sort of twist with your middle and pointer finger. Okay, that's the idea. So as it twists up, you're twisting it this way and up. Twist down, twist down, and then twist up, right? And that's going to give it that motion. And, um, in a perfect world, you could actually repeat this motion, but here's the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up and it's gonna cross right there. 
okay? It's gonna cross at the bottom first, okay? So the bead that's closest to me is gonna cross to the back and to the front, and then this one's gonna cross this way. So it's gonna be like this. They're gonna switch sides, all right? But this one's gonna cross into the back, and that's, that's how it's gonna start. So again, find that center point. As you do that, almost like simultaneously, it's sort of this like, there's a momentum to it. As I swing, it's kind of like slow and then quick, slow, quick. Um, I can, again, kind of in Kandama, if you're in, into Kandama at all, um, it's um, those fast hand sort of motions where it's like, it's a slow pull up and then that final moment, you gotta click uh, and, and sorry, pull it in quickly. Uh, to get that spike or, or what have you. Um, and so it's a little bit similar to that sort of feel where it has to be a, kind of a slow quick, okay? All right, so again, I'm not perfect at it, but that's the idea, all right? So as I'm coming in, all right, and it's easy to clack them, so you wanna make sure that you give lots of space. All right, you see how they cross at the top? That's the idea. Now, as ideally, again, instead of crossing like this, right, which you could, you know, enter into a trick like that, um, after that motion and that's technically one full butterfly um, but the idea is to kind of cross back over um, which I'm still mastering that so it's not consistent but I've gotten it a few times let's see if I can actually get it now yeah so that's the idea right there uh, it wasn't pretty uh, but uh, yeah, see that where it's decrossing and I didn't have them perfectly centered here. There we go. That's better. Um, now, I, this is a good uh, set to play with, by the way. If you hear a lot of clacking, that means they're probably getting too close to each other. So uh, maybe play with a larger set or a heavier set even. Um, that might actually feel like you have a little bit more control. So if you're playing with a very light set, um, maybe like under eight grams, you might want to consider swapping that out for this trick if you're struggling with that. Um, but this one's nice because these clack really loud uh, when they hit. So I know if I'm like, oh, okay, I, I'm hitting them. I'm getting to see right there, I'm getting too close. Now that might be cool, those little taps, those clacks. Um, but the idea here is to miss those, right? And that, just like that, all right? And again, I'm still getting used to kind of doing that multiple times, I'll get there but it's that muscle memory. It really is gonna take some practice. So slow it down, get every step at a time, kind of get comfortable with this, you know, this sort of motion, popping it up. Kind of like what I did with cheddar. You wanna find that point where it's like right in the middle, right? And it's laid out flat. Take your time, but it's just this like slow, it's a slow, fast, okay? slow and then fast at the top they're, they're clacking on me so I'm not, i know i'm not doing it right it's hard to do when i'm talking but but i hope that's helpful uh, again a trick that has been asked so many times so there you go let's go ahead and wrap it up uh, but thanks for joining me today in this uh begular tutorial i hope you learned something maybe you already knew some of these things um and that's fine um again i think the one that i've been asked the most is butterfly um, so I, you know, when I'm asked things, I want to learn them and I want to teach them as well. I think that's sometimes, at least for me, that's the best way to learn sometimes is by teaching others to get to a point where I'm confident enough. I'm not an expert yet, still learning. I'm still figuring things out just as many of you are, but I love to teach. And so I hope that was helpful. That's going to do it for now. And until the next one, later.